I cannot believe that I was the one that had traffic all messed up. I mean, it was a small section of the road that's only two lanes, and I had it all jacked up. Oh my God. This is a grown woman confession. I'm just confessing. What I really want to say is, first of all, if somebody has caused a major traffic jam, they are already stressed out. You do not have to blow your horn and make them feel worse, okay? They already feel bad. They cannot feel. So listen, I had the windows rolled up because they're so tinted so dark so nobody could see me. It was getting so hot in the car. <laughs> that the phones overheated and they said I couldn't use the phone till it cooled down. <laughs> Buses was going around me. It was it was so embarrassing that it wasn't embarrassing. It was just funny. So this guy ended up coming to the door and they, he knocks on the door and he said, do you need help? I was like, yes, I need a lot of help. <laughs> Thank you. Please help me. The last person that I talked to was roadside assistance. And I asked them how much they charge to bring me three gallons of gas. Oh, my God. I can't believe I ran out of gas. $265 to get three gallons of gas. <laughs> I said, well, I'll be here when Jesus come back because I ain't going. I'm not paying that. That's not an option. And right after then, this little guy, Keith, knocks on the door. And I'm like, whoo, thank you, Lord, for sending somebody. And Keith is a name that's a St. Louis name. I was like, I'm with it. I got in the car with him. And then I was like, we right over here by where I wanted to run my errand. Can I just run in there real quick? <laughs> my friend said, you got the helpful stranger running your errands with you? I said, just in case I don't come back this way. I think it's gas, but what if it's not? Anyway, it was gas. I had to buy a gas can for $20 and one gallon of gas, and it worked. And I will never, ever let that happen again. 